Then the penalty for not changing my story fell upon me. I was led across a courtyard, through grim cell corridors, and down under the building. Again I was stripped, and my clothes thoroughly examined. Only my suit and shoes were left to me. When I was shoved into a six feet by nine feet cell with a wooden bed, wooden pillow, one blanket, and the inevitable strong glaring light. The walls perspired and the floor was wet and the cold was unbearable. The heavy steel door clanged shut, an unforgettable memory. For the next 10 days, I was not allowed to wash and my menu comprised black bread and water three times a day. The worst of it, however, was the endless routine repeated every six minutes of the steel peephole being opened and clanged shut. And it implicated me in sabotage and espionage of not complying with demands. He believes that he is abandoned, that he will be killed in any case and that an alleged confession will appear anyway. And so, he signs the rubbish placed before him. That 80 people had been arrested, found it an excruciating experience to adjust myself to freedom. The nightmare of interrogators and prison cuts a deep wound into the human spirit. However, as I grow stronger, I realize more and more that the important thing to be learned from my experience is that it can happen to anyone. It can happen to you. I wish everyone could understand this. No price is too dear to pay for our way of life.